Alrighty, there we go, Magna Oliveira, of course. He, did you get a chance to watch any of the trials uh, over the last couple of days? Yeah, yeah, I was here watching yesterday. Actually, I watched a little bit of the three days of competition, and the action was really good. The riders was so competitive, you know, and yeah, everything went fine. Now everything is going well to the contest. It looks like we're having a good trial for the end of this week. Uh, let's see what's going on. Thank you, Terry. And I want to say uh, happy birthday to my mom in Brazil. It is anniversary, mãe. Te amo. Valeu. In the top 16, Dallas Singer. How are you, yeah, mate? Four player team. You guys, uh, along with Kingy and a few other guys, have been uh, traveling around, uh, getting doing some photo shoots and stuff. Where have you been over the last 12 months with these guys? Um, oh, we went to Cook Islands last year. That was a that was a mad experience. They, they really put an effort into the team and. Just trying to get like a, a good crew together before we play. I'm really happy with it. And this year we went down south, got a few shots for some marketing and stuff, and got some good ways. It was good hanging out with Kingy. He's like, a bit of a character, like you know. So <laughs> yeah, it was funny times. We were down for a week, and um, it's a good opportunity. You don't get to surf these guys that much, like when you're at home. And just when I got here today, it's not like you see everyone at the same time, and you, know, you wanted to ask the same people questions and stuff. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to surf with guys that are actually really good riders and it always does wonders to your own and um, so, so, yeah, it's good, it's good to be honest. Well, welcome to the pro show, Johnny Shaw. Now, um, unfortunately, we lost uh, one of Cronulla's favourite sons, Andrew Lester, has kind of had to get to a point, I suppose, where he, he's retired from uh, the, the world tour. Yep. He's still hanging around the scene and ripping, but um, it's, uh, mate, it's, it's only really you and uh, Ballard and Rico. Yep. Maybe uh, any other locals that you can think of? Um, that's really about it for the moment. That's what it's a bit of a shame to see Lester finish up. I spoke to him the other week and um, he's happy doing what he's doing now, like he's enjoying it, but that's what he said is a bit of a change from what he's been used to surfing every day. But um, I don't know, a bit of pressure on us local boys, but hopefully we can pull through. Yeah, okay, it's always good to have a hand for advantage, that's for sure. Now you went there. Max, are you around? How you doing, mate? How are you, buddy? Yeah, good, man. Great. It's away now. You fought your way through some pretty tough trials, mate. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, it was always going to be tough. The trials this year, especially with um, such a like integrated uh, top 16 of people around the world, a lot of the top Aussies had to go through it. And um, I knew it was going to be hard. The way through, I just kind of like got my mental mind frame. I just like didn't really um, care what anyone else was doing. Didn't care who they were. Just like trying try my hardest. Like just got amped on music. Like um, every time before my heat. And yeah, really just didn't care what anyone else was doing in the struggle. Do what I could to get through. Yeah, well, it seemed to work for you, mate. You're in the main event of yeah. the biggest or uh, well, the greatest show on surf. So, a very good morning to oh, yeah. the Moore yeah. Now, last year, tell us about that. What a fantastic year that was for you. Oh, yeah, last year was pretty much my best year for a contest of uh, my life. Uh, I was pretty stuck like at the end of the, of the year. Uh, for me, like uh, being the top three. Uh, the world, our world tour was pretty exciting, and um, I hope this year like make the same thing or better. But I think it's gonna be like harder this year because there is like more more guys on the tour and uh, more contests. So I, I need to be like more consistent and uh, learn like more things. I think um, I hope like this contest is gonna start good for me, and uh, I'm actually high type the ranking. So I hope like uh, get better like after the Shark Island. Uh, right now, what we might do is uh, call in Seamus Makem, of course, who, uh, Seamus is uh, an Aussie guy, but he spends a lot of time surfing the island before. Uh, it's a Cajun Island in Shark Island. Eh, los dos primeros días pude coger unas olitas ahí en Saraina para testar cómo era la ola. La ola es un poco difícil y creo que lleva un tiempo para poder adaptarte y poder cogerle el truco. Okay. Y... Okay, how are you doing? When I came, I took a few solitas, but now it's very flat. And it has a good wind coming there. The expectation is good for the competition. And the ola in the semi-final, it's a bit of a wind, right? How is that? It's a very good wind. I didn't expect it to come. And I don't know, Melan. I got it and I got it very well. What do you think of it in Australia? I think I've been a little bit of time, I've been only 10 days. I think that this trip will be one of the best for the conditions of the hours that you're going to have. And I'm ready and motivated to go.
as we uh, go back to the uh, pro show coming to you live from Cronulla Point, folks, talking to the top 32 here at the Human Shark Island Challenge. Right for now, though, time to talk to one of WA's finest, Brad Hughes. Alrighty, now you and Chatty, of course, had that memorable session, and uh, uh, you know, a, a while back it got uh, fairly well documented. You guys have been chasing the big stuff for a number of years, but this year, mate, you guys are both back into the competition, sir. So. Yeah, yeah, pretty keen. Like I've always um, liked competing and stuff, but I had a had a break for a couple of years, and then uh, I guess uh, caught the bugs to get back into it. So yeah, back trying get a seat back up and see how we go. No worries. And uh, well, he's currently leading the Australasian uh, Human and Pro Tour. Mitch Rollins, how are you, mate? Right, what about um, now? You started off the year at Pipeline, uh, and you're looking pretty focused, Dan. But uh, Mitch, you're, you're right on track, and then you, you hit that real tough heat with the four Australians in it. Yeah, it was. Um, it was yeah, I really wanted to do well there to get a good start to the year. But yeah, ran into a tough heat. It, it was not as tough. Like, there was other tough heats as well. It was just unfortunate. I, I think I slipped up by um, letting Dave Crowley go one way that I probably should have gone. I didn't think it was a scorer, but he ended up getting a you know, 7-5 on and that's pretty much what I needed. And uh, so that was a lesson learned. James Russell from Paul Macquarie. No worries, oh, you mate, you've uh, been a uh, competitor, uh, a strong competitor on the National uh, Human Pro Tour here. How do you feel about taking on some of the world's best uh, surfers at a uh, you know, wave like that one behind us? Yeah, I'm um, pretty excited and nervous, I guess, because it's a heavy, heavy wave. And, um, it would be good to have a go with all the, like, the bigger pros and stuff, so I can't wait. Charlie Chaplin, come on down from Reunion Island. Oh. Okay, well have you guys got anything in the pipeline? Is there any um, uh, movies coming out or are you working on any projects for uh, videos right now? Uh, just a video. Um, some uh, some small, small video on the internet and that's it. Just friends and bodyboard. Okay. We get to this bloke here, Lewis Villar. How are you, Lewis? I'm always good. Well, and it's great to have, of course, uh, Tammy get back on the scene as well. He was the guy that I suppose you used to idolise. Did you, did you have like posters on your wall growing yeah. up of Guilherme? Yeah, of course, what I can say about Guilherme, uh, he's the our master over there, he's an idol. Uh, everybody in Brazil want to be like him and it's a dream to compete against him uh, when I was young. So, so I want to uh, be like this guy. Uh, he's, uh, the best water board in the world, and I'm competing against him. is a dream. Excellent. Well, um, who else looks after you, John? Have you got any other sponsors? Uh, yep, yeah, um, Human is sponsoring the event. Then there's, uh, who's there? No Friends and just Emerald Surf up at Canola. Alrighty. I've been in Fortnite for a while, so, uh, so uh, Bodyboard Surf goes, I am none. Uh, June's Wetsuit so. says. Okay, my sponsor are Sniper Bodyboard, Canna Beach, and uh, Cool Shoes Corporation. I okay. yeah, Rip Curl have been helping me out a fair bit. EBB and Baylin and that often. Uh, I'll give like to Creature Leisure and Bon Zipper and BS and um, Mum and Dad and um, Woody who's watching. Yeah, just a lead at the moment and I'll probably... Just play Woody Boys and uh, Focus Pro. It's like... Uh, I have uh, my pro model at Z Point Bodyboards. Uh, Use my unit. Uh, but, uh, generally it's just a uh, board shop in my city. And uh, my city uh, giving a lot of help too, Bonnet Combo. Thanks for you guys. All right. That pretty much concludes the pro show. So uh, that's it, folks. It's uh, well, it's all over. We've spoken to the top 32 guys in the world, and uh, all we have left to do now really is to wait for this swell to come up the coastline, see if it eventuates. Make sure that you log this into your uh, to your favourites. Log it into your uh, bookmark if you're on a Mac. And uh, you know, keep keep an eye on it every day. You'll notice on the website, by the way, that we've got a tweeter, which means if you sign up to tweet and you become a friend of Shark Island uh, Challenge, you will get an SMS alert no matter where you live in the world on the day that the contest will happen. It's a very simple scenario, so let's hope that you guys can do it. Thanks again for watching the Pro Show. On behalf of Human Shoes, uh, we look forward to seeing you for the main event here at Shark Island. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.